What's going on YouTube? This is Gabe and I love customizing my Android device. From the launcher to the icons, you name it, the customizability of Android is a wonderful thing and it allows me to make my phone my own. Another thing you can customize is the navigation bar thanks to an app called Custom Navigation Bar. Typically, you would need to root your device for this sort of customization, but this app has a way around it. As long as you have ADB drivers installed on your computer, it's as simple as following the setup process when you download the app. If you need help installing the ADB drivers, there's tutorials on how to do this all over YouTube. Once you have the drivers installed, all you have to do from there is open a command prompt and enter the line of code given by the app. After this, the app will take you through a quick test run to make sure you did everything correctly. If the test is successful, then you're all set up. I want to start off by mentioning that this app includes a dark theme. In the layout section, the app gives you several options to customize the layout of your navigation bar. These options include normal, left leaning, right leaning, compact, tablet, and center. If for some reason you're a fan of the inverted layout on the Galaxy phones, this app allows you to invert the navigation buttons so that the back button is on the right. You can also normalize the button size so that everything will be spaced evenly when you add extra buttons. If you buy the Pro version, which will set you back $1.99, you'll get access to a variety of themes, including a Pixel theme, Galaxy S8 theme, and several more. Unfortunately, these themes cause the buttons to lose their long press function. What this means is that you won't be able to long press for Google Assistant or split screen, so it's up to you to decide whether or not it's worth losing that functionality. In the Experimental Tweaks section, you are able to replace the existing Back, Home, and Recent keys with various functions. There is also an immersive mode which will hide both the status bar and the navigation bar for an immersive effect. Lastly, the app lets you add extra left and right buttons for added functionality. Overall, I'm very impressed with this app and I'll definitely be using it for a while. If you can get over the fact that you'll be losing long press functionality, I think this app is great for anyone looking for some extra customizability for their Android. So that's been it from me. If you liked this video, be sure to let me know by clicking that like button down below and make sure you're subscribed for more content. Thanks for watching.